gang let's go to our last movie let's go to our last movie so we had one war movie light war movie we had three funny movies and then we got the banshees of inishirin whoa how many of you were able to watch the whole thing without your nervous system going into overdrive right elder god tom cruise was talking rap dancing lessons at the time was taking rap dancing really elder god chicho i'm giving you the finger <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> this is the movie that i i suggested it in one right because i wanted to see it because these two actors let me read their names colin farrell and uh this movie came out the banshee of insuring uh 2022 directed by by martin Mc, mcdonough and he did um he did he's done a few movies with these guys one of them was uh, in bruges which is a fantastic movie and this is colin farrell brendan gleason carrie condon all three of them i believe uh no carrie condon i believe is uk uh, another actor which was absolutely brilliant in this was barry uh Ke keegan okay was barry keegan this movie gang holy wow wow is it pre no no it's not a prequel to in bruges it's not a prequel this is set in 1923 the movie okay by the way gang this is spoiler glory you haven't seen this movie and if you can handle a fucking heavy movie like one of the heaviest movies you will ever watch in your life okay in your life this is it right if you like those kinds of movies do not listen anymore do not watch this anymore come back to this or whatever uh go watch this movie okay uh cheryl i ran out of time and didn't even get get to start it oh cheryl i saved it until last night because i knew this was the movie that i wanted to watch before uh we did the live stream uh cheryl oh no this movie is so complicated so complicated so brilliant so brilliant so brilliant cheryl uh, i plan on watching it tonight but don't mind spoilers this time cheryl stop watching okay I was on the road a ton this month. Cheryl, get out. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> I'm going to ban you. <laughs> Starts April 1st, 2023. Starts uh, the day before April 1st, 2023. Right? January, February, March. Uh, January, February, March, April. So starts March 30th, was it? Uh, January, February, March. March. Starts on March 31st and kicks into April, right? Ali, I haven't seen this film, but I it reminds me of oh, the lighthouse with Willem Dafoe, brilliant movie, brilliant movie. We we watched that as well, we reviewed that as well, uh, <laughs> and that was phen phenomenal. That was heavy, dark, deep. This is disturbing. That one was not as disturbing. That one was Shakespearean, to a certain degree. This was Shakespearean as well, but this was disturbing right <laughs> Daryl show says there you do it <laughs> the, the dancing visual that shopkeeper obsessed with gossip was vile vile every character even the shortest amount of time that were on screen with just the minimum amount of words they had portrayed their persona brilliantly right to me this movie is a 10 out of 10 it is a masterpiece it is an absolute masterpiece elder god no it starts april 1st it does start april 1st okay okay cheryl okay it if it's truly better for me to not have any spoilers i'll bail cheryl bail i i know if i wanted to watch this if i was going to watch this i wouldn't want to hear anything about this really anything about this elder god pat thinks it's a april fool's joke yeah yeah but i thought the day before because he crosses he, he pulls the calendar and the reason i know this is because i was trying to figure out 
because it was by the way gang what was the civil war that was going on 1923 across the isles was that northern ireland ireland uh battle going on is, is that what was going on because that was going on. i was trying to figure out what what period this was supposed to be set in i realized there was no electricity really and then they brought out a calendar 1923 Cheryl, okay, friends, I'm out. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and thanks for the heads up. You're welcome, Cheryl. And gang, don't forget, Cheryl's taking off next Sunday. We're doing our yearly auction, okay? So, yearly auction next Sunday. Cheryl, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Let us know what you think about it on uh, Gilded, okay? Uh, uh, Dancing Vigil, the sister was the only intelligent one on the island. She saw the light and got out there. She saw the light and didn't lose her mind. She got out before she lost her mind, right? All the God, everyone on the island are people who are social misfits, misfits unable to survive in mainland Ireland. Cheryl, I'll post my reaction on G tonight. Awesome, Ali. Thank you very much for the support uh, on Sensor Tube. Sensor Tube. Uh, what do you call it uh, special chats i forget what this is called i love your reviews very knowledgeable on many subjects my pleasure ali i some some uh, some stuff some stuff and thank you very much sort of for the support blur uh brother thank you very much for the support um and get, if you don't want heavy man if you, you haven't watched this and if this is the type of movie you want ali uh you you like if you like the lighthouse you will love this okay so you might not want to watch this brother uh, what, what we're talking about okay irish civil war yeah irish civil war okay okay so is that the one that separated northern ireland and ireland i don't have my time frame set on that elder god just before the treaty that separated the irish into two groups okay okay i know a lot about this period yeah i bet you do yeah yeah i figured you would it was in the far off distant and one of the most brilliant parts um uh, was it colin farrell says i wish you luck because he didn't know what side was what he just said i wish you luck in your in your war or something like this i forget the exact quote and then the cop saying he's gonna go and watch an execution and he doesn't know if it's the protestant killing the uh catholic or the catholic about about to execute a protestant he was just going to be uh he's just going to get paid to do this right floor floor sir floor sir churd floor floor sir floor sir churd. uncensored good afternoon to you as well thank you very much for popping in i can't pronounce your name uh Oh, it's Super Chats. Ali, it's called Super Chats on Sensor 2. Thank you very much for the Super Chats. Uh, oh, God. The friendship is a metaphor of the future of Ireland. You think so? You took it to there? I, I, I didn't take it in that direction. I didn't take it in that direction. I took it to a level of people coming. There's so much going on. But one of the things was... Uh, a person being able to do the calculus to see his mor mortality right his lifespan and realizing that he wants to contribute something contribute something period and do more in his life than just be right um sort of looking for immort there's so much immortality maybe if you want to take it artistic expression if you want to take it one person saying that they you know people deciding of what is important in life what do you want to be is the most important thing in life to be a kind person to be a good person to be a wise person to be a well-read person to be a social person to be a creative person to be a person that provides a safe space for people to interact there is so much to it there's so much to it you could take every five minutes every 10 minutes every dialogue and just break it down right flowers child flowers child of course i couldn't believe i, I couldn't read how to, how to read it salutations flowers child welcome to our live stream on sensor two uh lark bar i love watching stuff on the irish civil war 
Yeah, Ireland has such a complicated history. So fucking deep, so dark. Oh, the God, the police officer is the British government in human form abusing the Irish under his control. Yeah, I, could, I made that connection. Uh, authority, authority abusing anyone, right? And then some of the people that suck up to that authority, the vile, as who said it, the the shopkeeper, the woman, the vile, uh, sucking up to the authority, right? Just if brilliant, brilliant, all of God. Colum, Colum woke up and realized that he had wasted his life and decided to attempt new things. But his real motivation was to help his friend Pat. You think so? Oh, oh, maybe. And he did in the end. But there, there was definitely insanity there where, right? But he, he cared. He cared so much, so much for him, for his friend. Like one of the most powerful scenes when the, the cop was beat up, Colin Farrell, and the cop comes up to um uh, oh man i gotta get the names i i should i should mention that okay uh column column feral column so the column character uh is standing there watching the cop beat up on pad right and the cop when he's done beating him up he walks by this character here boop right and says see you later in the pub uh for the beer you owe me and this character over here looks at the cop and says i don't owe you a beer right fucking brilliant and he goes over and helps this guy up and there's a really there's something going on there that he he's not allowed he, he's not allowed to talk to. puts him on his horse and carriage and rides him to the fork just the symbolism of that thing was fucking and unreal right rise up goes to the road and there's a fork going in different directions this guy crying this guy just going and like amazing that five minutes like literally that five minutes puts to shame 99 percent of the movies that are coming out out of hollywood any studio right now absolutely fucking brilliant right elder god we won't call it quits we'll call it the start in the bar eh pats him on the face pow, pow. i think that's the scene you're talking about right so brilliant so br after this movie I, I told my partner last night we need to get a little mini mini donkey mi mini mule right so brilliant so brilliant gang if you can like i literally it was so fucking heavy this movie so heavy that halfway through when i messaged Allah god i came to this uh gilded and i took a little break and i didn't want to go back to the movie even though i was loving it it was intense it, it was brilliant one of the best movies i've ever seen I didn't want to go back to the movie because it was becoming insanely dark, right? Uh, but I had to go to it because we had to do our homework. And I'll mention this. Gang, again, I'll give you spoiler warning, right? First time chat. Rope maxing 3,500. Hello, Chicho. Long time listener. First time chatter. I finally cashed the live stream. Awesome work. Thank you very much, brother or sister. And thank you for popping into our live streams. I'm going to give you guys a spoiler regarding this. Okay. To the end, I'm not going to say what happens in the end, but I can, I can tell you this. Okay. Turn it off if you want to see this with a... The ending was absolutely made me fall in love with it even more. The ending was perfect. Fucking perfect. One of the most perfect endings to any movie i have ever seen in any genre it was 
perfect this movie is perfect okay perfect okay Elder God, the donkey and the kid uh, Dominique were a metaphor for the victims of the war to come. Oh, donkey being the Irish soul and the kid, the loss of life and innocence, the innocence, the victimhood, the, the, the love aspect of it. The kid was fucking magnificent. That kid deserves so much respect. What's his name? Barry uh, Kogan and gang. You know, I don't know if this is true or not, but only the Irish could have made this perfect. The actors and all three male um, actors were Irish, and uh, Carrie is. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I think she was born. Uh, I think she's English. Uh, oh, I looked this up before, but I think she's English. Uh, so. It was just brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think the only male Irish actors could have really given that much to this, right? Given that much to this. Nancy Mitchell, only time I laugh was during the confessional scenes. <laughs> I, I laugh more than once. I laughed a few times. But it was a dark laughter to a certain degree, and it got darker and darker. And the priest, the portrayal of the priest, especially knowing Irish history with the Catholic Church, fucking brilliant, right? Absolutely brilliant. Where the guy turns to him and says, do you have dreams, uh, uh, desires such as this that you mentioned? And the priest just fucking freaks and the relationship, the close relationship of the priest and the and the cop right and that's implied right that's implied that's in the background you know it right the authority there right so deep so deep elder god there was some village colors color ads as well uh you see a lot of yellow in scenes for hope the hope and optimism oh i didn't pick up on that despair 2077 salutations good evening elder god and red for death and anxiety yeah 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 some of the buildings were yellow that's right the color on them right yeah 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 at some point i'll have to watch this again but not anytime soon not anytime soon not anytime soon for sure so heavy so heavy i woke up this morning thinking about it <laughs> elder god mentioned that he couldn't sleep after watching it it was brilliant i would love to see someone do a full-blown analysis of everything in this movie right elder god the priest was aggressive to call him as the church were against the ira and wouldn't take their confessions they wouldn't take their confessions fucking pieces of shit right i have no like I have no idea how the Irish can still uh, go to church, the Catholic Church. I really don't know. Like Shanane O'Connor, when he, she tore up the picture of the Pope, and a lot of hate came her way from the, from the Irish. And that was a time where all these revelations about the child abuse and stuff that the Catholic Church committed... Uh, weren't known right or weren't revealed let's say it that way rope rope mix maxing colin farrell is a great actor i'm so happy that he finally take break from blockbuster movies and shows his talent and good taste of script 100 percent. i think he's one of the greatest actors of our time both of both of these guys two of the greatest actors of our time so lucky to to be seeing watching movies from them really and colin farrell wow man james dean james deanish like colin farrell brilliant brilliant and i'm glad he's lived longer than james dean okay uh what an actor colin farrell was amazing in batman rope and i'm kind of jealous of his thick hair haha -ha. <laughs> 
Oh my God, I had an Irish girlfriend. Got a lot from her about Catholics uh, over uh, friendliness. Yeah, I bet, I bet. And pff, she must have been a firecracker. Emotion, Ooh, roller coaster ride, Elder God, was it? Let's not forget Daredevil. One of the greatest villain portrayals ever, Bullseye, right? The rest of the movie sucked ass. Him made it worthwhile watching, right? Yeah, the old woman was deaf, basically. The old woman, as soon as I saw her, uh, reminded me of, uh, what's that black and white movie uh, where death is playing chess with um, the character? Really old movie, 1930s movie. Uh, what's that movie called? Man, I've seen it. It's brilliant. Um, oh, Elder God. Hit us up. What's that movie called? Um, anybody else? Ali. Him and uh, Kaylian, Mc, uh, uh, Kaylian Murphy. Uh, and have you da, 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 seen Oppen... No, I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Uh, I plan on watching it. Hackenthorpe, uh, Ingmar Bergman directed it, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death? Is it called Death? It's not called Death. Uh, Torp on uh, Sensor 2. Oh, God. When she's watching them at the end of the movie, I was saying that more death is coming. Yeah. And one of the most brilliant parts was Colin Farrell when he's walking up to his house, right? And the old woman says, don't kill his dog. And he says, don't put any. That's when you know he has become a, a, a man of uh, of the times, right? He's, his intelligence level has gone up. He's, he, he's no longer uh, the seventh seal. Thank you very much, Dancing Vigil. The movie I was thinking about, Seventh Seal. Yeah, yeah, brilliant movie, right? Uh, but that's the that's the part where um, Colin Farrell, you know that he's not uh, desperately trying to be the innocent, likable, nice person that his parents were. He turns to the old woman and says, shut up, woman. Don't put any thoughts in my mind that aren't there, right? He's aware of evil, right? He's now aware of evil. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Nicholas Simpson, Elder God, how many streams do you have open? <laughs> Elder God's everywhere. Yeah, the seventh seal. The seventh seal, 1957. I thought it was older than 1957. No, it's got to be older than that, isn't it? The poster or one part of the movie, huge chunk of the movie, is this old man playing, I think it's an old man. I saw it a long time ago. I seen it twice, but a long time ago. Uh, playing chess with death right is it Ing Ingmar Bergman or is it a Russian movie I don't know I forget Pat was so happy at the start by the end he is alone and bitter yeah. he is alone and wise to the world I think I, I wouldn't dark fucking times Bill and Ted <laughs> and Ted <laughs> all the God says <laughs> hilarious Bill and Ted's excellent adventures was he bitter i think he was like for example when the young kid when they're drinking and colin farrell tells him the young kid that he lied to his students that his father was was dead and the young kid goes he's so innocent and just he just he he was a dislikable person really dislikable just wouldn't shut up but most likely he had brain damage because his father was beating the shit out of him since most likely he was young. But when Colin Farrell tells him when he's done that, right? And he turns to him, he goes quiet and pulls away from him and goes, That's that must that must be one of the worst things that I've heard anyone do. Like you're not a he turns to him and says, You're not a kind person. You're worse than them. You're worse than them. Right? Is is Colin Farrell's 
delusion of who he was just shattered, right? Showed how selfish he was, right? Elder God, I love the constant use of people looking in from the outside. It's a metaphor of him looking at a life he was losing. Dominique committed suicide. Dominique committed suicide, the young kid. He, there's no way he could, anyone of her caliber would ever love him. He knew he was he was desperately seeking for someone outside of this this village, right outside of this village. And when she said, when he asked her, "Could you ever love someone like me?" and she says, she shook her head. No. That was it for him. That was it. So so much so much so brilliant so brilliant really love the movie really love the movie but fucking heavy man fucking heavy me gang what do you guys give it i give it 10 out of 10 easy easy 10 out of 10 easy 10 out of 10 right elder god he was doomed to drink in the pub till he died yeah and continued to be beat by his dad right continue to be beat by his dad made fun of by society right dancing vigil says seven out of ten elder god nine out of ten nine out of ten elder god i i give it a ten out of ten fucking dark when something makes me feel this sad like this heavy i have no choice but to give it 10 out of 10 only because i saw some historical inaccuracies ah, i bet i bet there would have been right but but what was one of the historical inaccuracies what would a historical inaccuracy be i can't think of any right off the top of my head clothing oh clothing i don't know the clothing from that era it suited it for me language i can see language it the irish accent wasn't as harsh as it probably was back then right because i understood 98 percent of the conversation right so i could see that andy walker hey chicho on sensor tube i'm saying hi from my post operation room for having two hernia repairs ouch hope you're well oof andy walker in girl hernia on sensor tube in girl hernia i got a recommendation for you if it's in girl hernia or any operation um go once you're yeah get well soon ali says hey, hey, gang anybody if you ever get an operation okay once you're in the healing process once you know the the wound the opening is healed and stuff like this go see a massage therapist and get them umbilical or umbilical hernia, get them to um, break apart the scar tissue you want to get rid of the scar tissue so go see specialists to help you get rid of scar tissue okay that's my recommendation dancing visual fucking good movie though fucking good movie though right Ella got the boat the sister got on ah okay but i love the scene when they paint the uh what were they painting what is that what's that symbol? I don't know. what were they painting they were painting oh the mailbox yeah 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 they were painting the mailbox green and she comes in the post box yeah and puts the envelope inside yeah 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 those that shop owner gross wow gross 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 walker thank you ali thank you for the advice chicho my pleasure and take your time make sure you don't injure yourself again right make sure you don't injure yourself again yang good movies we'll do again let's say within uh, criminal offense to open mail criminal offense to open mail indeed she opened it up my question was she kept on asking was it a job offer was it a job offer is it because 
she really didn't understand that it was a job offer or it wasn't a direct job offer right andy walker i'm here to try and get some rest with your relaxing tone also you caught us this is a heavy heavy move heavy move we're talking about right dancing with thanks for the good laugh on a monday morning my pleasure my pleasure sunday afternoon where i am uh gang let's call it a stream let's call it a stream and we'll probably do a movie stream let's say in a couple of months uh so we're in uh november december let's say january 2024 we'll do our stream again right oh god the people on the island were institutionalized yeah, it was it was like an insane asylum literally craziness the sanest person there was the barkeep right and uh, the sister and the sister 10 30 p.m for you your uk uk yeah uk or ireland or scotland or wales or uk yes <laughs> gang let me take this poster down watch it if you haven't seen it if you can bear it gang thank you very much for being here i hope you enjoyed the stream thank you for the discussion discussions thank you for the recommendations thank you for the references right thank you for the references they couldn't leave if they wanted to only the sister could leave wearing optimism yellow oh i didn't realize that i didn't realize that i did not see that i did not see that <laughs> walker is laughing at the clown on sensor too hilarious peace out peace out gang if you want to follow this work i'm on patreon substack subscribe star you can definitely follow the work there we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us in our community and share information all god for your information her clothing color changed throughout the movie oh i didn't even notice that there was red she was wearing at some point and she had to i gotta i gotta watch it again at some point i can't bear to watch it right now gang uh again do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange june assange publishing journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital is power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online yo you and me hi yo arrived late at the end it seems yeah yeah indeed you yo you and me watch the village i got so much and so much about this movie gang we are live streaming on twitch on sensor tube and on rumble for those of you watching this live thank you very much thank you ali for the super chat on sensor tube thank you guys for the discussion again thank you for being here we are recording this on a lapel mic and i will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform we're on twitter we're on minds we're on vk we're on gap we're on getter we're on substack notes and we'll see where else we end up and gang salute to the mods for being here having our backs and helping us build a beautiful little community we can share information and talk freely salute everyone and don't forget next week we're going to do our twitch auction apologies if there's no points on rumble and sensor tube but on twitch if you build up your points there we're going to be auctioning stuff up and sort of appreciation yearly appreciation for everyone that's been uh, supporting this work and joined our community elder god pat has a yellow house with a red door yeah 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 the fingers and when the guy's playing violin when he was doing the the when gone and he has his students in the bar and the blood just dripping crazy 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 good night chat it's 1 30 a.m for you rope up mixing you know i'm on substack slayer darth i'm on substack yeah indeed indeed 
indeed oh god no pumps in bar as well uh they did exist though they did exist in 2023 uh, to, uh, uh 1923 i didn't know that glasses 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 the no fingers dance <laughs> 1923 yes oh wow didn't know that maybe it didn't exist on the island maybe it didn't exist on the island right gang i hope you have a fantastic week if you can make it 1890 actually came in pumps really super cool gotta have bubbly beer <laughs> if you can make it next sunday gang twitch auction annual celebration hope you can make it bye everyone